Hey there, and welcome to RAM's basics tutorial series. If you need more information about RAM, you can look a demo with our team using the link in the description. You can also create a free RAM account and use the templates below to draw along with me as we go through this tutorial. Let's dive in. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to create your custom block libraries and your custom style libraries. The idea is that once you create your custom libraries, you're going to be able to access them from each and every RAN model you create and project you work on. And it's just going to be that much faster to drag and drop specific blocks that you use over and over again, or give your drawing set that look and feel of branding, systemizing and stylizing all your drawing sets with just a few clicks. So how does it work? I've started off by just presenting this model, which is my uh, template. There's another option of creating custom full templates in RAM that can also include, you know, your different drawing sheets and more. And there's another tutorial about that. But what I want to focus here is the different components I use and the different styles assigned to them. So this is some examples of styles that I use across my models. For example, the line weights I like to give my different dimensions, the text, size, font, color, all of these are styles, as well as different fills I like to give shapes. So for example, if I select uh, fill, you'll see that there's a style saved for this fill. In this case, it's called Chevron texture. And if I draw in a different model and want to apply the Chevron, I don't have to look for that texture in the RAN style library, scale it, give it maybe a bit of opacity. I've done all this already now, and I can just run ahead and systemize the stylizing of the rest of my models. So I've done this for a few of my styles here. I also have my parquet style. If I select my dimension, you'll see that I also have my dimension annotation styles, um, text and more and more. And you can learn how to save your styles and apply them in our style tutorial. But basically, this is the first thing you want to do. Other than the styles, we also have blocks, as you see here. We have some different tree blocks that I've imported as DWGs that I want to use. And you can also use Rayon libraries that are available up here. So there is 10K libraries that you can drag and drop in your model if you want to start using them again and again. One note about the blocks is that you can also add information onto blocks. So for example, you'll see that I have different door types that I use across my projects. And we also have what we call metadata in Rayon. So this is the uh, option to add properties and information onto your blocks. And if you do it from your template or block library, then whenever you use the same block in another model, it already will contain this information. In this case, I have this double door and you see that it has a price and brand property tied to them. So this door's price is 500 euros. It's from brand Doors & Co. And you can edit and customize your own props clicking on the plus button. You can create new properties, edit the existing ones. And again, I invite you to watch the tutorial about metadata and tables in RAM. But now that we've established just these basics about how you need to start off with a model that contains some of your favorite assets, some of your blocks and the information tied to them, and some of the styles you've saved. How can we create a library out of this? So we go up to the right corner to the share button and click on the share. And this panel contains the different sharing abilities or forms. So uh, inviting people into your model, uh, publishing a template, a presentation, and we're looking for the library tab right here. You'll see that I have an option to publish this as a style library and let's toggle on it. And we can also publish this as a block library. Of course, you can also have models that are only style libraries or only block libraries. So really up to you. Whenever you make a change to your library, you can come back to this tab and just click on update uh, if you've changed anything. So in this case, our model is called my new template. Let's change this to uh, my template and libraries. So my template and libs. And now what I want to do is go to my main workspace in Rayon and show you how I can grab these assets directly into other models I'm working on. So I'll go to the main menu and back to models. All right. So the first thing I'm seeing here is that I have tags on my template and libs model. You'll see here that I hover over them. I can see that this is a published block library, published style library. And to start with, this was already a template. So it's a template as well. So this is just like this indication to make me realize if I come to edit this model or such, that this is my public library, which I share with my teammates and I use from other models as well. 
Now let's open project. I'll just double click this one, my uh, kitchen millwork project. And let's say I want to apply a different style than the one I have here to this drawing set. To do so, I'd have to import my style library's assets in RAN. And both library tabs are on the top left. This is for blocks and this one is for styles. We'll start with styles and I'll click on it. And we'll start with seeing all the styles that live in this model. And you're seeing all these uh, blue different hatches and styles uh, relates with what's on the drawing itself. Let's say we wanted to change the style of this drawing to match our brand style or custom. I'm going to go to the libraries tab and we'll find here the style library we've created. There you go, my template and libs and click it. Now I'll see all those styles we've created uh, in our library and I can either select one and import it individually from here or I can go ahead to the options and add all styles in this model. And you see here that Chevron and all those different other styles we had in our previous model. So now let's say we want to apply that style onto this floor plan. I'll just zoom in, select the existing surface for example. It has its floor hatch here and to replace it all we have to do is click on the quad button and we can either manually search for the chevron or type it in so che chevron texture and there you go there's a chevron texture from our style library so that is how you would apply um, styles now let's sneak peek and how you can use the block library so for the block library we'll Close this tab and open the blocks tab. I'll click it and it will start off by showing me all the different blocks that already exist in this model. So this is my blocks tab. When I visit the libraries tab, I'll see the three types of block libraries that exist in RAM. So my libraries, ones you curate for yourself, org libraries, which are the ones you share with your organization across your teammates, and the RAN libraries. So there's 10K blocks, 85 libraries, different use cases, and top, front, and side views for sections and elevations as well. For now, we're looking to open the custom block library that we've created together, which is um, over here, my template and libs. And you'll find here all those blocks we had in our other model. And let's just grab one and place it in this uh, drawing set. There it is. Let's scale it. And potentially if I wanted to uh, unify and standardize my uh, drawings with my other drawings, my company's drawings, and so on and so forth, I would go ahead and maybe replace this block with the one from my library. All right, guys, so that is all you have to know about how to create style libraries and block libraries using RAM. As mentioned, this will enable you to curate the custom styles or the custom libraries that you tend to use across your models and really help you streamline the process of creating drawings and standardizing them across your team and across your projects. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any more questions, you're welcome to book a demo with our team by using the link in the description. You can also join our community and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Have a good one.